Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement as we are returning to the days of our X-Men 97 lives. This is season one, episode seven. This show, y'all, this, this show. Where have we left off? Okay, so Storm has be reborn. To me, it looked like she was birthed through the vagina of the cave, looking fabulous. I think that foot, the way they animated her flying when the headband appears and she just looks so confident and strong like yes i am the storm i am the elements this is who i am i think that's some of my so simple but some of my most favorite animation ever and her lines the lines that they give her only that voice actress can say those lines it won't sound the same can you imagine can you imagine if they got somebody like me like me to go um Hello, heed me, I am the lightning. <laughs> hey y'all, she sounded like Rogue. Hey y'all, I am the storm, I am the lightning, I am the elements, the rain will heed my call. I mean, it just, it wouldn't hit the same. It just wouldn't. Although that'd be really fun to see. Charles, Charles is also heading back to earth. He's like, sorry babe, my people need me. And he is going back to Earth and he just appears. Hey y'all, I'm not really dead. Magneto, you are no longer, they're no longer your X-Men. Oh, oh, and what's his name? Geyer Geiger, the guy who's on trial for killing Charles Xavier. He's not free to go? Would he be free to go? I don't know. There's lots of stuff going on and I'm so excited to get to it. And I'm so glad that you are here with me as well. And yes, X-Men 97 drinking game is on. If you are playing along, I've got my pim particles ready to go, but a drink anytime our X-Men walk into a trap. Somebody gets a drop on the X-Men taking a drink. Anytime somebody's way of talking their adversary down is just to scream at them. Listen to me. We got kind of one from Charles last week. It was great. And then of course, anytime a relationship reveal or secret baby. Slancha, y'all. <laughs> Somebody suggested in the comments that we should do one also for any time. Wolverine says bub or Rogue says sugar, but let's not break our livers. Dent them a little, but let's not full out stomp them into dust. I'll leave you to do that on your own time. But I'm ready to go. If you are under the big cozy blanket, don't forget full episode watch along is available on Patreon. I would love to see you there. And let's get to it. Gosh, and we still have the follow-up from Genosha. We haven't even touched that at all. Henry Gyrick. Why would I? Gyrick. That's his name, Gyrick. What spoilers are we gonna get today? look very much almost exactly like last week so I don't think too many spoilers if any at all what are we gonna get oh no oh no you are kidding me Amy LeBeau would be the first to remind you that life, like the cards, is wild. Gambit had endless faith in potential. He seemed so blind to his, haunted by the life of Bayou crime into which he was born. Such were the cards, he'd say. I think he was bluffing. Every gambler has a tell. Modesty was gambits. How could she not be here? Yeah, how could she? I was just thinking myself. He loved her. But, but, everyone grieves their own way. She could be there, they just can't see her. Oh. She gonna Superman it and try to make the world go backwards to turn back time. Or is she going after Trask? This is a top secret United States facility. You are trespassing. Cease and... She don't give a shit. 
it. Um, who's she taking out exactly? Who's she taking out exactly? Need I remind you that we're standing in the same place built to hold the Hulk? Our intruder is an unhinged mutant from the swamp. She ain't no... Is that Ross? We're on Henry Gyrick and Bolivar Trask. <laughs> now, hopefully not the same facility. Well, we're the good guys. You killed those, sugar. Now, you get me. Oh, rogue. You've gone a week now with no new survivors. It's time to let go, son. Finding even one more survivor could give mutants some hope. Where's Madeline? And if scared voters see me helping your kind... Uh, sorry, son. Just, uh, unfortunate optics. Optics, sir? Guess if Genosha had looked more human, you would be more focused on death tolls over poles. We're on our own. Team ready to leave? They're processing. Hair down. This is supposed to be Madeline, right? Magneto did. He warned us repeatedly. And so did Madeline. No, no, that's Jean. Okay, the whole hair up, down, hair down thing with Jean and Madeline. It's messing with my head. Look for the helpers. You will always find people who are helping. The ever affable Mr. Rogers. Rest of you go show humanity that the X-Men are here to stay. So what about X-Force? Isn't that like the Canada team? Would we see them possibly? Hank. Why are you here, Pumpkin? I'm heartened to know that it is you who will bear witness to what happened in Genosha. The death of the dream. Ooh. Ooh. Like that? Please. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> I thought that motorcycle looked familiar. Stand down, Rogue. Where is Henry Gyrick? Genosha wasn't just a mutant tragedy. It shames us all. Skip the hogwash and tell me what America's top cop is doing all the way out here. Looks like they skipped town before you got here. OZT. So who's Gyrick to these folks? Exactly what I planned to ask him. I was able to hack the servers here. Gyrick was transferred to a facility in Mexico City. What is he now? Steve got some skills since come out of cryo freeze. This uniform shows up in Mexico bashing heads in with you. It sends a message. Damn right that you stand with mutants. Unless you don't now. Got to do this by the book, Rogue. Right now, my hands are tied. Well, if your hands are tied, you won't be needing this. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> well, okay. War's coming. Well, they brought Roberto with them too. I miss that. Okay. My foster parents called this morning asking the same thing. Hadn't heard from them in months. Mm -hmm. You call your mom? I'm on a ski trip in the Alps. Until he shows up on the news. I just know I wouldn't want my parents finding out who I was on the five o'clock news. Don't want them burying a stranger. Will you come with me? Duh. They haven't found Leech? Riots are the language of the unheard. But smashing windows is destruction, not communication. Normal people won't accept mutants if they feel threatened. Perhaps the professor's vision for the future was too nearsighted, and begging for your tolerance was our first mistake. Oh, Hank, no, that's not what I was saying. But it is what you mean. That is the issue. <laughs> Now forgive me. I dare not waste any more of your tolerance, Miss Tilby. Now this can't be right. This ain't no jail. 
This is a damn resort. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. What's OZT anyway? Let's just say you freaks aren't the only ones making friends in high places. <laughs> Tell Summers his wife's cute psychic probes won't work this time. Honey, this ain't that sort of probe. <laughs> <laughs> Was that apocalypse? Psychic echoes. This much death can stain a- It's the rats! Oh no! Unfulfilled dreams, cycling on repeat. So many futures lost. So many pasts unfinished. Lack in closure. Like... Like us. <laughs> That was a comparison. I'm sorry, Jean, for how complicated things got between us. Our lives have never been simple. It feels different this time. Different than when I died in that shuttle crash, or when I sacrificed myself to the sun or Dark Phoenix. She's pulling receipts. <gasps> Scott, someone up ahead. A telepath. Madeline. Emma. I had a feeling it was Emma. Extraordinary. Diamond transmutation has never been one of Emma's abilities. I've always done well. <coughs> Under pressure. Waka waka waka. And he's upset. He's so upset. Kind of sort of understandable, but. Whoa. All X Men to the Blackbird immediately. It's Trask. Sinister promised to help me get my life back. He didn't say it'd be a mutant massacre. What were you expecting? Come to the UN Peace Legion in Madripoor. Madripoor! Note this. The lobby vending machine is never out of diet. Come see the horrifying face of your future. Going to Madripoor. Your mother is taking afternoon wine in the parlor. Afternoon wine. <laughs> we go in, charm with small talk, and... Why, I'm a mutant. Hope she has enough wine. And where's Dad? Have we heard where Dad is? This is such a relief. It, it is? is? Baby. Four of our homes have caught fire mysteriously since you turned 16. It was your secret to tell. A mother knows, Roberto. I hope this is mom and not like Mystique in disguise or something. Now the trick will be making sure we keep this all private. Ah. Ah. Honey, shareholders are rattled by anything mutant related. They can't know we have a mutant in the family. Mm. We'll have to discuss some new rules concerning your associations and how to be more discreet. Spritzers? Meine gute Freundin. <laughs> it is I, sister. How do you feel now? How did Kurt find her? How did Kurt find her? Remy's dead. But that don't mean I'm ready to accept it. You sure pulled the short straw in the adopted sister department, didn't you? Got the gal who goes bonkers over losing a boy. Mm, that's oversimplifying it. Over losing two. But she did not cause Gambit or Magneto to be killed. She helped them live. <gasps> Yeah.
Yes, they're flying timelines. We're going to Magdapur, but we're stopping by Mexico. What? Yeah, that's throwing me. That's throwing me. <laughs> Just as you dreamt it. Yet you nearly ruined my surprise. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I am so looking forward to watching this episode again. <laughs> now we know what Trask meant by clearing the building. Sleeping gas. Praise be, they're never out of diet. Uber secret break room behind a busted vending machine. Mm. A game, bad guy. A game. I don't think I I I drink that there more if I think I mm, no. Same mystery get up as the fellows who were guarding Henry Gutter. Oh. Maybe we ask poor man's Oppenheimer before he. I made the sentinels to protect normal people. Now I am become dead. Oh no shit, dude. He's building a new type of sentinel. Worse than what we saw in Genosha. But I won't let him make me any more of a monster than he already has. Easy boy. <laughs> you want redemption? Help us get the real bad guys. His coat's holding him up. That's really good, really good construction on that lab coat there. I have nothing. Same sugar. <gasps> Vogue, what have you done? What we all wanted to do. Is this who we are now? That rotten piece of scum put a good man, my man, terminate you. What is happening? Is this happening or is this a dream? Trask has mutated into some sort of human sentinel. Okay. Terminate mutants. Wait, so these sentinels can turn into any person they want? Summer, Gene, you get the building. I'll get the debris. She threw the top of the building. She threw the top of the building. He put Rogue down with one hit. We can't pull our punches. X-Men, take him down. Oh, now they want to... Wait! I'm sorry. When did Quicksilver show up? I missed this. You just neutralized. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, it was Morph. <laughs> he when Morph does that. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Neutralize. That running commentary is creepy as hell. Do you remember what my inferior form asked you in the Sahara? No, please remind us. Tell me, Orphan, how does it feel to be abandoned by the future? Cable? Electromagnetic cluster grenade to the quickest way to take these suckers down. Cable? <laughs> oh, I see. No. All along. It can't be. You're not her. Oh my god. Nathan. Let's skip the reunion, Dad. Sinister's working for someone else, someone worse. And if you X-Men don't stop him, there won't be much of a future worth living in. 
The X-Men will learn from this too, you blithering fool. You and the villains of old have been failing since 92 to squash these pests. <laughs> Rather specific. My tech's repaired a damaged alien satellite the X-Men used to chat with their allies. Ah, that's quite the signal there. Our merry band of muties have been selling the world a very big lie. And so have I. <sighs> Magneto! Heat, like music, it softens things. So long as you don't resist. Simply listen and obey. See, you were born for this. Horn flying purple people here. One eyed, one horn flying purple people here. Sure looks strange to me. Gotta check out someday the shop. What can we shop for while we're watching X Men '97? So I know Bastion is somebody, and I heard it. I just can't remember who specifically. Yeah, I'll have to go back and look up. I can't remember who Bastion is. This felt like an episode where we weren't really continuing the story we were on. We are laying down a bunch of new tiles because we have added another level of the board game new things and I'm we're flipping to see how it fits together that's how I feel with this episode because we were all over we were at the school we were in Genosha we were in Mexico Rogue was somewhere in the mountains we then were in Majapur so we had lots of locations she was at some resort not resort prison <laughs> the prison prison the prison she was everywhere and then, oh, she, she flew out, trying to lay out Trask. The fact that I guess he was not really him and already a robot? Cyborg? Doesn't really matter because she didn't know that. She dropped his ass. Whoa. I was also laughing that Morph's like, is this who we are? I'm sorry. How many men, uh, people... In general, Wolverine, not in this context, but in the comic context, has killed, slaughtered, stabby, stabby. <laughs> They've always been violent. Always. And we've got Cable back. Scott's now like, holy shit, Nathan? <laughs> Gene, holy shit, Nathan? And amongst all this, no Charles and no Storm. Charles I can see, but why? Why no Storm yet? How long has it taken her? Why hasn't she reappeared? Or is this supposedly the same? No, it's not because she watched the news story. So why no storm, I wonder? I'm enjoying myself immensely. The only little story element that I'm going, why is this here? Is Roberto. Why is Roberto here? Unless he's gonna bring out some big thing in the finale I don't know why we're spending time with him. Hopefully it means something in the end. But right now I'm like, this is, I guess, when I can go to the restroom. That's <laughs> what the Roberto scenes are. And we got Cap. Cap showed up. Is that the last we're going to see a Cap? <laughs> I love how they got somebody who sounds just enough like Chris Evans which is great. And even with Cable, yes, it sounds like Cable from the animated series, but sounds just enough like Josh Brolin. I love it. I love it so much. I am so, my brain is like trying to think and put and figure out where could we go? Why do we go? Like all the things. I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> There we go. There was episode seven. Thank you so much for being with me. We didn't really drink anything at all. So give a toast for Cap. Here we go, Cap. But yeah, thank you again so much for being with me. Until the next time, don't be a stranger. Take care of yourselves. Stretch your bodies. This is your reminder also, if you haven't already, go eat something. 
and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.